بود Oh my goodness, this was so much work, but wow, that is so beautiful. What do you guys think? So before it was this beautiful tissue paper wall backdrop, it was actually the boards from another video and I'll link that video right here and that was from my daughter's DIY balloon birthday wall. So I wanted to recycle those materials. You can see it turned out so cute. So let's break it down. It's getting ready to rain. like So they have to do it really quickly. Okay, go ahead and go. Just go. Go Ava, pop them. Ava, Woo. it's her turn. You have to go one at a time so you don't hurt each other. One at a time. Board, guys. Go, Ava. <laughs> you guys hear that ring? No! <laughs> that is all. Yay! Look what they have created. left after the kids went uh, full Monty on it. Good job, guys. So this is the back of the board, just in case you didn't see the DIY balloon wall video. How dare you go watch it. And this is what we're left with on the front. Good job. And nobody got hurt. It's a miracle. I know, I know. Somebody's going to put something in the comments about how I shouldn't have let the kids pop it. But guys, to be fair, I went to three different stores to buy darts. And darts are like contraband now. So this was the only option we had. So if you have suggestions, leave it in the comments below. But keep it PG-13, people. Okay, guys, first step for the DIY balloon board is come to the dollar store and get a bunch of these like ready boards. Don't get them at Walmart because they're way more expensive. To secure the panels together, this is what you can do. Go to Lowe's or Home Depot and grab these paint stars. See what's left is a bunch of like glue and so I'm about to go in here and peel off a fair amount of this. It's gonna take a few minutes and uh, be back. All right guys, so here's the uh, next step. So you just go through and kind of cut off all that excess glue and the balloons. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can see there's still some pretty big chunks on there and it doesn't really matter because, you know, it's all gonna be covered in a minute anyway. All right, now that we have our board either, you know, kind of cleaned up or if you just had to build it for the first time, the next thing you need is a bunch of tissue paper. And when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch. And again, it's totally going to depend on how big your wall is. My wall is like nine and a half feet tall and just over six feet wide. So you don't need to make it that tall, but I did for my purposes. And you can just use those little pipe cleaners. So what I did is what you're going to see me doing here is, and I wanted my flowers to be like really, really full. So I went through the stack of tissue paper and I just, you can see I separated them into little stacks of 15. And then you just kind of fold them back and forth, back and forth, and you tie them off with that little pipe cleaner. You can kind of spread them apart. And then what you do is you just pull one layer at a time and pull it up. And I know at first it's gonna feel kind of counterintuitive, like it's not gonna come out looking pretty, but it really does. So pull one side, turn the flower, pull the other side, and you just keep doing that and you can see that sort of like messy accident and it ends up just looking beautiful and it's super full. As you'll see at the end, I alternated a bunch of different patterns and sizes. So what you see me doing here is just taking the tissue paper and cutting it in half. So I'm making these smaller kind of filler flowers here. You don't have to do that. You can make them smaller than that if you want, but the smaller flowers, I will tell you, are much, much harder to pull apart. Amazon packages. Time to finish this wall. The contact paper that I'm gonna go around the side with, and I ordered the one that's like 400 feet by 16 inches, and all of this will be linked in the comments bar below. So let's go put it on the wall. This is what we're starting with. You can see I made some of the flowers, and then there's the roll that I showed you that I just opened. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down both sides and then across the top. And the reason I'm gonna do that is, if you'll see, like if I'm back here, right, and I zoom in, oh here, let me go in like this. 
you would still be able to see the sides a little bit and I don't wanna to have to worry about that showing through. Plus it'll be a nice border. Highly recommend doing this. I've put a little patch of this on the wall and I'm just gonna peel it off just to show you that it's not damaging the wall behind it if that was a concern for anybody. So I would definitely recommend doing that though because especially if you're renting or something like that, you don't wanna damage the wallpaper. Let's Something get it. really cool about this paper. Definitely order the one that is linked down below because I have never actually seen this, but it has the measurements on the back, which is really cool. Look, every foot is three of these rows. So that is really nice that they did that. That is gonna be very nice. Okay, so as you can see, I've already cut several pieces that are two feet long each. So again, this is 16 wide, but so two feet is just gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. Whatever you wanna use that you won't cut your hand off with. Like now we have all the rolls cut in two feet long by 16 feet wide sections. So let's go ahead She's and She's going the bottom and then I'm just unhooking the top like this and then I'm gonna pull it down towards her. And then I'm going to like, push it out with this. So we're gonna get one or two done and then I'll have her step back. All right guys, so as you can see, that's the first panel on the wall right there. We need to clean the baseboards out here. They are nasty. But anyways, that's what it looks like. And yes, so to answer questions, cause I know we're gonna get this question. There is a slight, and I do mean very slight amount of texture on these walls by comparison, like this is texture on the wall. This is the flat poster board. So it's very slight, but it definitely is there. And as you can see, it is sticking right to it. I didn't like clean it with Windex or any of that other stuff. I know you need to do that when you apply contact paper to tables and counters, but for walls, no. So then guys, you know, so basically I'm just hooking it here at the top and then she's pulling the piece down and I can see it's sitting very nicely. My little helper is helping me smooth it out. And let me show them something real quick. So you see how this thing has two sides. This one is kind of sharp and then this one is a little bit thicker. And guys, I'll put this, it's it's for doing um, t-shirts, but it works great for this too. And again, all this will be in the down bar below. But I mean, guys, you could use a credit card. I don't wanna risk that because credit cards are a little bit sharper and this thing has sort of a blunted edge, which is why I'm using it. And you know, don't go top to bottom because you could pull it and you don't wanna go from one side all the way to the other because you could cause bunching. So using the thicker side, kind of like at that angle, and you just wanna push about halfway across really being careful to seal in that seam. All right guys, so as you can see, <laughs> that poor garage wall, that's where the kids' bikes used to be, so. But anyway, so you don't have to do the whole back. So see, I just did the, the boundary. So regardless however big you make this piece, you just wanna go around the outside. I mean, I did the whole wall because I don't wanna have to worry about cropping when I'm taking pictures or filming video or whatever, but you don't have to do all that. So again, we went from the bottom all the way to the top. Yup, just like the song, bottom to the top and then across the top. And the top pieces were actually easier to apply, which was super weird. But again, make sure to cut them in two foot sections because if it's any longer than that, I really feel like you're gonna have trouble laying it down. But guys, you can see from here, like you cannot see into the seams. And if you can, it's because I only have one light pointed at the wall, which is kind of highlighting that. But when all the lights are out here and lighting up that whole thing, you're not gonna see any of that. So don't be super neurotic about when you're laying it down, just get it on the wall and move on with your life. I'm just going to uh, hammer this thing into the wall. So let's make some magic happen. Here's the super non-scientific explanation. So this is a thing that you basically tap into the wall and then you can just use like a regular screwdriver and you screw it in and then you put this little wall anchor in here. I love this thing because you don't have to have a drill and my son is napping right now so it's just a win-win and it goes right in and then these things open up in the back like boop but they don't make that sound. Um, they make like a clicking sound and then they, they open up in the back like this and then that way they won't pull out of the wall. So there you go. Again, links in the description right, box below. You can below. see I put the first two anchors in and that thing is holding to the wall just fine. But obviously I'm gonna put the last two. I mean, because what is this thing holding? Poster board and paper flowers, right? Like, I mean, there's no weight on this thing at all. Honestly, you could probably just do it with nails, but. In a situation where you can't nail into the wall, you guys could completely do this with the contact strips, but, and the caveat being, you must mount this thing to the wall before you put the paper flowers on. Because if you put paper flowers on here and then you try to push, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna have a bunch of crushed up, beautiful paper flowers. This is where we are now. Now it is mounted on the wall. And you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one in each corner and then two in the center just to avoid any kind of sway with it buckling in the center. Now all we have to do guys is make a ton of flowers and put them on there. But look at this backdrop already, which is oh, not really fun. But making all these flowers and gluing them on. So I'm just using a hot glue gun 
with just hot glue sticks. I'm sure that you could do the same thing with cold glue, but cold glue sticks are vastly more expensive, so yeah, don't. And then let's just go ahead and we're gonna take these and we're gonna glue them one by one to this. And there's no pattern I'm following. I mean, guys, I have like different sizes and shapes and I'm just gonna put the big ones up there in like random spots and then fill it in. So let's see what we're happens. starting. That's the first flower on the wall, which was super easy. You just put it around the back and slap it up there. What you do is sort of like stick your little hand in this pocket because you need something to be able to press against. And then Ava, if you can follow, or can you see? Yep. And then I'm just gonna put glue kind of randomly like on these points and especially a fair amount in the center. You know guys, it's a tissue paper flower, so it doesn't have to be perfect. In that middle section, and when you're done, just fluff it back out. So this is just up close and I'm just showing you because why not? So that's the wall and then you can see these flowers are so beautiful. That's what it looks like. Multiple textures and whatnot when you're done. You have to do a couple things. They're really easy though, so you can just cut the edges. So they, you know, they look like this, they're square at the end. But then you can just cut them with some pretty heavy duty scissors. So they're kind of round or oval like that. And then make some of them pointy and then leave some of them straight. And another way to vary the patterns is when you're folding these, fold some of them like, you know, this wide and then over, 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 over. So it's really, really tight and then make some of them wide like these, like these are the wider ones. And then you're just gonna have all kinds of different varying. Let me show you where we are so far, right here. So you'll see that like this one I did, this one looks more like a rose. Um, and what I did was I actually just, so these are the ones that I pulled, you know, one way. And then I just flipped the paper over and pulled it up a different way to get this other effect. So just having those various different patterns and shapes and sizes is gonna give you kind of a cool look when it's all done. This is kind of the result of like, this is the ones that I cut that were pointed. So you see it just has a totally different look. And then here, these are the ones that I cut that were round at the ends. And then this is um, just flat at the end. And then just to show you, like, let me show you so you can see them at the same time. So that'd be more the rose looking one and this would be more the one that looks kind of like a peony. So you can really see it if you get close to it and then this one looks more like a rose. I'm so excited because the tissue paper just got here. I ordered mine from Paper Mart. I'll leave the link in the description box below. So much cheaper than Amazon. And then that is the table that is going to be our filming table. So I'm super excited and let's get back to the wall. We're getting there. I have my little dancers. See all the flowers? It's coming together. All right. So here we go. That was the second batch of flowers. And you can see like now they're starting to get tight enough together that, and guys, you know, you don't, you don't want to like squish them together, but you know, you just want to make sure that they're, they're touching like that and then kind of pull the layers together. Cause then you get that nice full look and you don't see any of that background shining through, but right, looking then, very so when the carpet's down there, there's still going to be that huge gap. So I took these old used pool noodles and I spray painted them white. Cause otherwise the difference in the color would shine through. Then I'm gonna go around them with this. Yeah, probably won't make sense right now, but that's the foam noodle covered in marble. And then when the rug is under here, then it will just go from floor to ceiling and it'll be seamless. There won't be any like spaces. They're making progress, but I will tell you, whew, this is a lot of work. It's gonna be gorgeous when it's done, but wow, it is so much work. Like I probably do five to 10 of these a day and I feel like I'm never gonna be done. But there you go. It's really, really pretty though. So we're finished about half of it. Like if that was all moved up there, it would be about halfway done. So it looks like my original calculations are gonna be about right, which is about 40 of the big flowers and 20 of the little flowers. Translation, get some friends to help you because it's a lot of work. As you can see, I'm kind of like doing it in batches now. So these are all the big flowers. And then over there, you can see those are the little ones that I've already cut in half and I just have to pull them and stick them. Another block of it done. Still have to do that whole bottom part. Look, just got that little bottom piece left. Look. We're getting there. Oh, believe it. Look, it is finally done. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this was so much work, but wow, that is so beautiful. What do you guys think? 
And so guys, just to I end this to video, I just turned on one studio light and look at this. I mean, this is just too much. And then my daughter jumped in just to take a quick picture to show you what it looks like with somebody standing in front of it. And that is zoomed up really, okay, really Okay guys, well that is a wrap on this DIY tissue paper wall. And as you can see, there's my little filming table. And so this is what it will look like when I'm filming. You'll just see that behind me. And with more of the studio lights on, it will look more white than that. So this is what it will look like when I'm filming. You see how beautiful and bright white everything is. It just looks dreamy and magical and I could not be happier. But I just wanted to show you the finished product. Thanks for sticking with me. I know this was a long video. If you enjoy videos like this, please consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.